This video is sponsored by Vanity Planet, but more on Vanity Planet and other great products later. Summer is around the corner, and there is no better way to spend it than with that special somebody. Unfortunately for a lot of us, that means sitting around and whining about not having a significant other, but not for long. That's right, wipe those tears away, because I'm about to hook all of you up with the right information not to have a hookup, not to have a it's complicated situation on Facebook, but to find that special someone and have a boyfriend. So today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my six tips to get a boyfriend and quick. This is coming from the perspective of a guy, okay? I know what works on my fellow dudes, so this is guaranteed. And I mean, it's May already, so if you don't have one by June, you're gonna start missing out on some sweet summer moments. And we can't have that. So, to start us off, the first few tips are all about your mindset, because whatever you've been doing so far, clearly, if you're watching this video, hasn't been working too great. So, there are a few things that we need to change. And to be clear here, I'm not saying that you have to change who you are. This is just taking on a more positive, optimistic approach. You being the youest version of yourself is what's really gonna make these dudes swoon. So, keep that. That's very important. Anyways, my first tip is to adopt a nothing to lose mentality. This is just the idea of giving up the concept of stressing out over talking to someone because you're intimidated by them being hot. At the end of the day, sure, it sucks to be turned down, but also, most strangers, you're probably never gonna see again, so there's not much at stake. Like, nothing except maybe hurting your ego a little bit, which, I know it sucks, but it's something that we have to get over. And if you already have your eyes on someone and there's someone that you know you're gonna see again, you know what? If you play it off like it wasn't a big deal, then it's not gonna be weird. And they'll probably like you more just for how, how well you handled it, and maybe in the future we'll start to develop something there. This whole step is just super important because if you're too scared to try talking to new people or just worrying about every little thing you do, it's gonna keep you from trying something new and taking risks. And if you're watching this video, you know, playing it safe hasn't gotten you a boyfriend so far, so let's just try something different. Again, nothing to lose. Tip number two goes hand in hand with the previous tip, but you need to be confident. I mean, people will see right through you if you approach them and you're too shy to say anything. But being confident is a lot easier than people think. It's just about knowing and treating everything you do like it's not a huge deal. It's the difference between, hey, um, I, I think you're really attractive. Okay, thanks. And, hey, I just wanna let you know, you're really cute. So make of that what you will. <laughs> do you see how the first approach is making the whole conversation, just like a really big deal. It's almost like I'm regretting it as I'm saying it. But the second way I did it, it's just a nice thing to say in passing. And it doesn't have to necessarily go anywhere, but little interactions like that can just help you normalize stuff like that. And just as a little bonus to help out here, you should do everything you can that makes you feel great about yourself. Maybe that means you're wearing your favorite clothes, the ones that make you feel the most confident. Maybe you're wearing perfume or something that you really like. You could be with your most loud and obnoxious friends who make you feel so comfortable that like any new crazy situation you find yourself in, you're more prepared to handle. One thing that always makes me really insecure is if I go outside and have any sort of acne. If I have a pimple, if I've got some zits or something, that is really hard on my self-consciousness, but Luckily, my sponsor for this video, Vanity Planet, has sent me their Spin for Perfect Skin Brush, which has actually done wonders to help clear that up so I could get outside and feel great. And as you can see, it comes with four different interchangeable attachments, all with totally different uses, so you are covered from head to toe. It's perfect to cleanse and exfoliate, and it removes bacteria to help promote visibly clearer skin. It'll get off dirt, oil, and debris, stuff that your hands just can't rub off. And best of all, it's also water resistant, so you can use it in the shower. Wow. And like I said, when you feel good about yourself, it really shows in how you talk and how you act. So check out the link in the description to get 70% off one of these bad boys with my discount code, QUO. Wait, did, did somebody say 70%? That is way too good of a deal. No, that's exactly what I said. 70%. What YouTuber gets 70% off anything? Only me. Link in that description. Anyway, now that you are the most optimistic version of yourself, step three on this list is to know what you want and what you value. Because after my next few tips, you might be going on tons of dates, and I don't want you to get so caught up that you forget what you value and what you want, so you end up with like the totally wrong dude for you and are not happy. Like in general, if you want a boyfriend and your date doesn't want anything serious, you're not gonna magically change his mind. So I think it's better to think he's a lost cause than to basically let him play you. Like for example, if you know it's really important to you that your future boyfriend loves dogs or Harry Potter or just whatever really means a lot to you, that's great. 
hold on to that. Because if you settle for someone who doesn't share, you know, the one thing that's most important to you, that's always going to be there. All I'm saying is, Make sure when you get to know someone, you know what you are and are not willing to compromise on. Okay, the next few steps are on to actually finding this guy your dreams and locking him down. So tip number four on this list is basically level one of putting yourself out there. Tell your friends that you want to find a boyfriend and see if they know any guys that are attractive and single. I know it might seem a little awkward, but they're friends. They're going to want to help you. Plus, they'll be the best possible wingmen because they love you because they're your friends and they're gonna have only great things to say. And if it's with someone who they're friends with, that person's gonna trust what they say. There's also just so much more to talk about when you already have a mutual friend. Like you know similar people, you can talk about them, you can share stories or just talk about how like weird it is that you guys are on like kind of a blind date situation. And you know, maybe who you're set up with isn't your soulmate, but at least if they're attractive, you know, it's good dating practice. Now you're one step closer to finding the one. Wow. So if all your friends and friends of friends have gotten the memo and you still haven't found the right one, it's time to go to level two and number five on this list. You need to put yourself in unfamiliar situations. Odds are, up until this point, you haven't really been in any crazy new situations or tried anything radically outside your comfort zone. And it's time for that to end because you need to expand your horizons and put yourself out there a little more. So that means trying some new things where new people will be. Maybe that's going to some new concerts, trying out new restaurants, signing up to a different gym, or studying at the library instead of home. Little things like that. And this might be a scary thought, but maybe try doing some of these things by yourself. Uh, going with friends is very comfortable, but it's easy to not have to socialize with new people. Whereas if you're by yourself, it's kind of like the Wild West, like anything could happen. I honestly think you might be amazed at just how many more interactions you have with strangers when you're by yourself, and just open to the idea of interacting with strangers. On to tip number six, and the other next few are about how to lock in this date and turn into boyfriend material. Tip six is to just be really fun and creative with your date ideas. Because a really great date is something that people don't forget. Like if you have a typical movie and dinner date, it could go great, but at the same time, they're not gonna remember that date years from now. You know what I mean? I've gone on some dates with girls that are so cool and unique that even though, you know, it didn't turn into a relationship, I still remember and cherish that date because it was so much fun. Some examples, maybe get them to bring their friends and you get your friends and you guys go on like a crazy bar crawl that you impromptly make up. Or maybe you sign up to take like a painting class or like a dance class or I don't know, just anything that you haven't done before or involves one of your interests. That's so cool. Like, people don't do those kinds of things anymore. Some of my favorite dates from experience, uh, doing karaoke. I love karaoke, so that's always a lot of fun. I've wandered around a flea market, which is, like, such a weird place. It's really cool to see, like, all the weird stuff they have there. Uh, I've gone ice skating. Doesn't apply in the summer. If, you, if you're able to do that, I don't want to be where you are. Um, but you get my point. <laughs> stuff that's just different and shows how much fun you can be. And once you start seeing someone consistently, tip number seven is to play a little hard to get. The whole point of this step is to let a guy prove to you that he's serious. There is a lot of ways to do this, and I don't think you should do this too extremely because you don't wanna push him away. But like, one example is keep yourself busy. Occupy your time so when he wants to hang out, you only have two days in the week that you have any time. And so he has to, you know, accommodate to your schedule. You know, I would recommend not double texting if he's not replying. And just in general, not seeming like you're overly desperate to see him because that could push him away. Because if he's putting very minimal amounts of effort into, you know, the little bit of a relationship that the two of you have, He's probably not too interested in being a boyfriend as much as just hooking up or something like that. And last on our list, number eight, is to not overanalyze a guy on your first few dates. Like if he's talking about stuff that interests him, don't be like, uh-oh, he likes this, done. Everyone is different. And while it's important to share interests and probably not date someone who is the complete opposite opinion of you on everything, overthinking whether or not someone's the one early on in the date is really just gonna drive you crazy. And it's gonna lead to a lot of disappointment. Just try and enjoy yourself. See if you get along. Sometimes love can be more of a slow burn than sparks flying everywhere. Just be open-minded and most importantly, have fun. Anyway, that was it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And again, I just want to give a huge shout out to Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. This Spin for Perfect Skin Brush is honestly really dope and 70% off is a huge deal. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. And again, you can use my discount code QUO for that discount. I just said that word a lot. And that would just help support me and my channel and show that 
my followers care, which would mean a lot. Aside from that, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Also, tell me in the comments, what's the best advice you've ever been given to help get a boyfriend? Let me know down below. Last week, I asked, what is the first thing that you see when you look at someone? And so on screen right now are my favorite comments from that video. And again, if you want to be featured at the end of next week's video, make sure you're leaving a comment down below right now. I want to give a huge Instagram shout out to Louise Rose for spamming a whole ton of my Instagram pics and also for being a new follower. Hey Louise, thank you for your follow. I hope I don't disappoint. Also, Hodea, who went all the way through all of my photos and liked all of them. So wow, thank you. I don't deserve this love, but I appreciate it. And lastly, Claire, who commented on a recent photo that she's a little upset. I've been making a little less videos, but she understands and forgives me because of what I captioned on that video. Now, if you for some reason don't follow my answer yet, you might not know what the caption was about. So let me just fill you in. Aside from making videos on this channel, I have also started another channel and a company, a nonprofit company called Vench Social Club. And basically what we're gonna do is throw themed unique parties around Toronto and donate the proceeds to charity. We just did our first event and eventually I'll be posting a video with footage from it. Uh, on a different channel, but in the meanwhile, if you are at all interested in the idea or supporting it and just learning a little more, uh, there'll be links in the description to check that out. Also, go follow those three people I just shouted out because they are amazing, and if you want an Instagram shout out of your own, make sure that you're following me on Instagram. My Instagram's Andrew Quo. Uh, it's right there. There'll also be a link in the description to that. And yeah, if you just like and comment on some stuff, uh, maybe I'll shout you out next week. Finally, subscribe to me for more videos. Uh, if you haven't had your fill of advice yet, you can check out more over here. And with all that being said, I will see you next week. Peace!